Hello everybody and welcome to Freakin' Effects where I'm gonna show you today how to fake pixel art and I say fake because um, if a real pixel artist see what I'm gonna be doing today uh, probably he will be deeply offended because uh, this is not actually art this is just you know some tips that I'm gonna be giving you to make some uh, fake pixel arting <laughs> so alright let's head to it first of all you're gonna be needing Adobe Photoshop and I really highly recommend you using a tablet because uh, drawing with your mouse many times gets just crazy, at least for me. And I personally prefer to be using a tablet and I'm going to be using today. But a part of that, um, that's it. So, right, we can head into Photoshop. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is importing the image that we're going to use. I'm going to be using my lovely, precious girlfriend because already, although she already has too many pixel arts, when she heard that I was going to do a new tutorial on this, um, well, you know, you guys who have girlfriends already know what I'm talking about. So, all right, first of all, let's crop the image because uh, I don't want all of this stuff on the uh, table or anything. I just want basically her face, um, not much more. So I'm gonna be cropping everything that I'm not gonna be using. Uh, over here, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be using the whole jacket because I think it it looks nice like this. And um, right, we hit OK. And then after that, we want to size the image down. So we want to go to image, image size, and you'll want to put the image over here on pixels and this is up to you because uh, the bigger the image is, the more pixels it's going to have, obviously. So I personally recommend you not going higher than 300. Actually, I'm going to put 250, I think. Let's try that out. Uh, okay, now we can see that already this image has so many pixels around here and everything. And what we're going to be doing is basically drawing on top of this image. So first of all, we're going to create a new layer that's going to be called white background. And we're going to be dropping a white color over it. Oops. I had this uh, on layers enabled. We'll be using this later, but not now. So uh, we drop the image below or I mean the background below our image. I want to turn the opacity down to um, something over there, 60% more or less, looks okay. And let's start drawing. So first of all, we're going to be adding a new layer and this one is going to be called um, base, for example. Um, we're going to be using a black color. And for that, we're going to be using our pencil tool, not the brush. So we should hold click and go to pencil tool. I want to go to one size and 100% hardness because this way what we do is that we're creating this kind of really hard stroke that looks like pixels. It's pixel by pixel drawing instead of the brush that you know it gives us this kind of really smooth um, look that we don't want at all. So we're going to be using our pencil tool and the very first thing that we're going to be doing is basically drawing over our image, just like this. I mean, not like this, obviously, but I'm going to skip quickly this part so that you guys don't get bored. Um, continue with the video after you're done. All right, so you can see that we already have the basis for our image and it's already looking real nice. We can see, um, that it, it goes like um, pixel by pixel, kind of like a pixel art, and it's looking already really nice. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is create the shadowing of, the, of this image. Um, for creating the shadows, we want to create our own half tone pattern. And for making that, first of all, we're going to be creating a new file, and it's going to be two by two pixels. I know it's really small, but that's what, the only thing that we want, two by two pixels. So we hit OK. 
we come over here and with our pencil tool we want to create one pixel over here and other another one right there and that's it that's everything that we want and we're going to be going now to edit define pattern and we're going to call this for example halfstone hit ok and now we go back to our image and what we want to do is apply this pattern to another layer that we're going to be using so I'm going to be using a different color so that you can see and we're going to create also a new layer make sure that you are always working with the proper layer um, we're going to call this half tone and now with this layer I'm going to increase a little bit the size so that you can see when we have this layer we're going to double click and we're going to go to pattern overlay and we want to use the the pattern that we just created we hit OK and if you go you can see that we have this um, half tone let's say pattern that it's looking really good that is uh, like a checkerboard and by now we're going to put it below our base uh, because uh, we want to still see the detail that we have on top and if you wonder why not just put it into multiply mode it's because um, it does nothing I don't know why it just keeps the white background no matter what but anyway we're going to uh, just keep it like that so we put normal we put it below our base layer um, we're going to delete what we just created in this half tone layer so alright we delete that and we're going to do exactly the same thing that we did that is basically creating all these kind of details that we can see again going one size pixel um, for example all these, line, all these lines that you can see over here that you don't want to color them or whatever you can just go with this pattern um, making this so that it gives it that kind of texture you know it gives it that shadowing that is very typical of a you know pixel art and everything and again I'm going to skip this part and continue with the video after you're done alright so we can see that already this is looking really really nice we can already see the 8-bit um, pixel art texture that uh, I don't know it really sells the image and actually I'm going to just add a little bit more of detail just over here so uh, I just realized that this part is looking a little bit empty and after making this the next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, applying this half song effect to the um, to the image because if you remember if we put it um, on top uh, a lot of detail is going to be missing you can see the difference and we're going to rasterize this layer but you have to do this only if you are 100% that you have finished with this um, shadowing because once you do once you follow this step there's no going back so do this only if you're 100% that you have finished so you have to right click rasterize layer style and then put it on multiply mode um, this way you keep the half tone and also all the details that we created in the base and um, right the next thing that we're going to be doing is uh, applying the color to the image and for making the color you'll have to add a new layer we're going to call this color and want to put it below the base layer and you want to turn off by now the half tone because uh, it's going to difficult our process right now and we're going to use the drop bucket tool or the bucket color paint however you call it tool and you want to disable the anti-alias uh, 
thin this option that you have here because if you realize when it paints oops when it paints you can see that uh oops oh, well and also make sure that you choose all layers because if not this is going to happen that everything is going to be filled you want to choose all layers so that the detail that we have in base also applies to color and you can see that um if we if we don't have the anti alias effect everything stays inside the pixels but if we have it applied some drops are going to get out like this one that we can see over here this pixel over here this one and we don't want that we want everything to be inside just like that and well obviously i don't want to make my girlfriend she hulk so i'm gonna be taking a color that it's going to be looking good on her so maybe not that orange somewhere over here i think looks okay more or less and again make sure that you always uh, are aware of which layer you're working with because it's really easy to be just like clicking on base and start coloring around and then you realize that you're not working in the proper layer and you know it's a pain in the ass to go back then so I'm gonna be coloring her over here her hair I'm gonna be using a darker brown not completely black something like that looks good actually maybe a little bit darker even And actually for these pixels that we have over here that they are like too small I'm just going to be using uh, the pencil because it's going to be easier than just going with this tool just like that this theme for um, the pigtail I'm going to be putting black and also uh, I'm going to be using the same color for both her um this thing however it's called and the jacket so i'm gonna be taking a very dark brown hit okay and a little bit more brighter for this and this and after you're done you have to make sure that no pixel is left behind like these ones that we can see over here so I'm gonna be taking this and with the pencil I'm just going to color all those pixels that we left behind this one also over here I thought I think it's so some no maybe that was my imagination and uh, I'm gonna be putting now also I have to put it on top uh, her makeup because she had like uh, this yeah, mm, orange makeup on top so let's paint that make sure again that you're in color and there you go oops I forgot her hair I mean her eyebrows All right, this is looking really, really nice, as you can see. And now when we enable the the shadows, the, the halftone pattern that we created, it's going to look even better. There you go. This is already looking really, really professional, I think. I don't know if um, you look the same way. And before finishing, I'm going to be adding one last color for the earring. That's it. Before finishing, uh, I like to add a personal background that is uh, just uh, horizontal lines. And for making that, we're going to create another pattern again. So we're going to be uh, going to, no, oh, sorry, File, New. And this one, it's going to be only one pixel width and two height. So we hit OK. 
we go there and with our pencil tool we use black and we're only going to draw one pixel over there and again we go to edit define pattern and we're going to call these horizontal lines for example and here we're going to add one last layer okay it's going to be below everything I forgot to change its name it's going to be horizontal lines without the plus and we're going to double click on it uh, pattern overlay and we want it to have this pattern that we just created and I forgot that first of all you have to fully drop a paint on, over it and there you go now you have this uh, pattern that it's all horizontal lines and you can of course change the color by double clicking double clicking on it again go to color overlay and um, already took this color that uh, it's looking really nice uh, make sure that you put it on all multiply because if you have it in normal it's going to look like this and the pattern is not going to appear so put it on multiply mode and you can see that over here there are some pixels that are missing so you want to do that and this is almost 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 finished before fully finishing our image um, this is the same as the Halfton layer only after you are 100% that you are done with your image you should proceed with this step which is basically going into image image size and now you want to put the the last um, size that you want so I'm going to put it maybe two more zeros and you can see that if if we scale it up it's going to look like this like horrible all the pixels are going to be lost and that's why because we have to come over here and we have to go to nearest neighbor hard edges and then it's going to keep all the pixels and all the details intact so we hit OK and there's it there's your final pixel art which is looking really really good and before finishing I wanted to remind you that I have a Patreon page in case you guys are enjoying my tutorials and you find helpful the stuff that I do uh, maybe you can consider you know just following me or maybe tipping me with only one dollar I'm happier than anyone else um, please let me know in the comments below if you found this tutorial helpful and if you want to if you want me to make any other tutorials of any kind just let me know in the comments below and I will check them out as soon as possible and thank you so much for making it this far and I really hope to see you in my next tutorial so see ya!